Yes, the watch is the vigil and the insect is the ant vigil ant. So our scores on this grand final night. Jacob is on 22. Jeremy is on 49 as we head into our last games of this series. And those final letters, Jacob, are yours. Lily, can I please start with a consonant? Sure. Let's start with T. And another consonant. C. And a third. P. And a fourth, please. R. And let's try a vowel. E. And another vowel. A. And a third. I. And a consonant, please. D. And a vowel, please. <laughs> Last letter. E. Time starts now. second full Monty. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> what a great thing. Well, just hold that for a moment because we haven't actually had it verified yet. So, fingers crossed. Jeremy? I've only got an eight, actually. Oh, <laughs> well, an eight is usually so fabulous, but let's have that first. Decrepit. Decrepit is a great word. And roll of the drums, I was, Jacob. I was urging for that E to come and it gave me predicate. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Great work, great work. What a contest this is, David. Well, predicate is a grammatical term. Predicate is to imply or assert. Uh, and we have, it's an assertive move from Jacob. And suddenly, the game on again. Absolutely, the game is on again because that means there is only nine points between them after Jacob has scored with that nine letter word 18 points. Well, Jacob did brilliantly with that full Monty, but uh, Jeremy, you did brilliantly with that last math solution. And we're now down to the final numbers game of the night, so this is your choice. Well, it served me well last time, so again, I'm going to do uh, two large and four small things. Thanks, Jeremy. Two large and four small. You and I have butterflies <laughs> and our numbers. One, nine, five, ten, and the two large. One hundred and twenty-five. The target number is 279. Can we get there? numbers of this grand final how close did you get not in the scoring range oh Jeremy that's sad to hear bad luck Jacob 279 on the knocker <laughs> wow well done tell us what you did okay uh, Lily 25 plus 5 plus 1 is 31 25 plus 5 plus 1 is 31 times the 9 by the 9 279 <laughs> 279 well done <laughs> Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable. Well, very believable because we've just seen it and heard it. Lily, you looked at that with almost a gasp of amazement. What incredible calculation. I'm speechless. <laughs> that was a great result, but yeah. did you do it another way? Look, I have a less elegant um, approach and I can show you that. But take I'm... us on the scenic route. Yeah, I'll take you on the scenic route, that's right. Um, now, 10 plus 1 is 11, by 25 is 275. And 9 minus 5 is 4, add that on, is 279. Well, that's a great result as well. So Jacob has scored another 10 points. There is only one point between them, Jeremy 49, Jacob on the half century. So as we near the end of 100 nights of competition, 
it all comes down to this final game, the conundrum. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Jacob, what do you think? Rebellion. He's done it! Let's check on the screen. And the answer is Rebellion. So with those extra 10 points, with a score of 60, tonight's grand final winner is Jacob. <laughs> well, rebel in that victory, Jacob. And an applause. A great finale, and uh, what an extraordinary moment as you hit that conundrum buzzer. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I just I cannot believe it. My heart's going a million miles an hour. <laughs> it is uh, an extraordinary <laughs> achievement, and it was an absolutely extraordinary grand final from both of you. Of course, Jacob, wonderfully well done, and congratulations uh, as the winner. Jeremy, fantastically well played tonight. It really was a, an outstanding game from you. Yeah, look, it was a great game and, of course, big congratulations to uh, Jacob on a huge comeback. And, Jacob, you've had a chance to take about two or three breaths now. <laughs> How are you feeling? Is that heart still beating? Uh, look, I'm literally... I'm, sh I'm shaking. It's, um, it was the most amazing, amazing grand final. Jeremy, you are a fantastic opponent and you really couldn't have scripted it. So, um, And I'd just like to send out a big thanks to the whole cast and crew. It's the most professional, polished and friendly team and I've had an absolute ball. It's an experience. I'll remember for the rest of my life, so thank you. We will certainly remember you, Jacob. What a fantastic performance. Thank you for a great night. <laughs> well, well, David, as Jacob said, you could not have scripted this grand final. A scintillating game. And to think we have a 19-year-old and a 23-year-old, um, and for Rebellion to be the final answer, uh, we have a youth rebellion on our hands. Not forgetting that Jacob did come back from a 27-point deficit in those final games. It was a phenomenal match. It was a phenomenal match and a totally memorable grand final. And Lily, you know, at the beginning of the show, you said you had butterflies, you were feeling a bit nervous. How are you now? Richard, I had butterflies then and I have goosebumps now. These two young men are the cream of the crop. They are fantastic and we have had an absolutely extraordinary night. What a fantastic series it's been culminating in this absolutely fitting grand final. On behalf of all the Letters and Numbers team, thank you for watching. We will see you again at six o'clock on Monday with our current carryover champion and a new challenger as we head once more down the long but very exciting road towards finding our season four grand champion. Who knows, it just might be you. Take care, good night. Mastermind, the iconic quiz show, is calling for contenders. Are you ready to put your general knowledge to the ultimate test? Apply now.